back to uh, some synthesis issues. We've looked at some additive synthesis, we've looked at some subtractive synthesis. Um, I'm going back to some slightly more complicated, I guess what you might think of as a, a type of um, additive synthesis. Um, we're going to do some modulation. We start as per the uh, instructions on the right hand side. Um, well, I'll, I'll just read through some of this. Uh, so yeah, these are these are more complex forms of synthesis, but essentially they are, um, in principle, fairly straightforward. So amplitude modulation and frequency modulation work by changing the volume or pitch of an oscillator over time. Um, and in both cases you can get interesting results at both low modulation frequencies, where they become uh, either tremolo in the case of amplitude modulation and vibrato in the case of frequency modulation respectively. Um, but when you move them into high modulation frequencies, uh, it will uh, more obviously change the timbre. So we'll start with amplitude modulation um, and uh, start by copying this uh, engine here, I suppose. Um, and uh, we could say that simply moving the gain slider up and down will give us some amplitude modulation. So if I put this at 440 hertz, turn this up, up and down, we are modulating the frequency um, over time. Obviously it's not a particularly um, consistent way of doing it and it didn't sound very good anyway because it was distorting. Um, so we want basically to find a way of um, making the making some kind of oscillation um, of amplitude over time from loud to soft to loud to soft to loud to soft and so on. Um, and we can do that using another cycle object. So the cycle object gives us a value, a, a, an oscillation, a sine wave oscillation that runs from 1 to minus 1 and back to 1 and then minus 1 um, through time. Um, but we can also use um, a, a, a cycle object because it goes from one value to another value consistently over time, we can use that to modulate the output of uh, this cycle. Um, so we will um, use a multiplication object to control the, the level. Um, and I'm going to add another cycle object. <coughs> now it seems perhaps a little bit odd because we've got what seem to be two potentially pitch uh, generating objects um, connected to each other, or at least the outputs connected to each other through a multiplication object. But what we will do is consider one to be what we will call the carrier and one to be what we will call the modulator. So I'll label those. So that is the carrying carrier oscillator and this is the modulator oscillator. So one is modulating the output from the other. Um, and as I increase the uh, the uh, the frequency of the, because at the moment it's static, um, and I don't think you actually get anything out at the moment. Oh, yes, you do. If I, um, if I increase the frequency of the modulating oscillator, we will hear the level change consistently, which is what we wanted. So we are getting some form of amplitude modulation there. So that's what I've asked people I asked you to do there. Okay, all right. Well, I ask ask you to change the the level in this one to number to two, and I say, um, do you no notice anything odd about the frequency of modulation? Well, we might assume that because the this cycle is running at two oscillations per second. We might expect the amplitude modulation to be that, or at least the the uh, we might get we might expect to get two um, movements between loud and soft every second. But in fact, we get four. One two three 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 four. Um, of kind of volume peaks during that time. 
As I say, we might expect us to get two because our oscillator is running at, our modulating oscillator is going at two hertz. So that seems a little bit odd. Um, and uh, the reason why it's doing that is if we go back to what I said a little bit earlier, which was that cycle oscillates between um, one and minus one. Um, so as the cycle goes to one, it gets louder. It goes to zero, it gets quieter. But then it goes beyond zero towards minus one, at which point um, the uh, at which point it starts to get louder again. The difference, though, is that the um, carrier will be played out of phase, so it will be of inverted phase when it's being multiplied by minus one. And then the, the modulator goes back to zero, which makes it quieter again, and then to one, which makes it louder um, in, if you like, positive phase, so original phase. Um, so what we actually have here is, um, again, a type of amplitude modulation, but if I increase the um, the value of or the frequency of the modulator, eventually we get to a frequency which is in the audio domain, if you like, so above 20 hertz. And we notice that something happens to the audio. Um, we get not just one pitch, which was the original 440 hertz, we now get two pitches. Um, and neither pitch is the original pitch. So if I take it to 100, um, we have two pitches, but neither is 440 hertz, which seems a little bit odd. What we are hearing, in fact, is um, the sum and the difference of uh, the original, of, of, of the two um, frequencies. So 440 hertz plus 100 hertz would give us 550 hertz. Um, so that's one pitch. And then 440 minus 100 hertz would give us 330 hertz. Um, so that's the other pitch. So we are, and because the, uh, the oscillation of the modulator is taking the original pitch out of phase, um, we don't hear that. That's why we don't hear the original pitch. Um, uh, we hear the two to either side. Now, that's the, the relationship here is relatively straightforward. Um, we get the two pitches instead of a, a, a sine wave because sine wave is a very simple wave. Um, but if I were to replace the um, cycle object with a different sound, which I'll do very quickly. So, in fact, I'll, I'll pull in a... SF play object and connect that up instead and open oops what shall I choose? And I'll take choose our seventies ballad piano. Um, so if I play that we get a very very characteristic ring modulator sound which is that kind of rather grainy, gritty, metallic sound. So that's, that's ring modulation, and of course that could be, um, you know, useful, potentially. Uh, but in fact, 